you open my topology, right? And tell us in dust. Right. और जो से गलत है अब क्या नाश कर दिया तुमने गैस स्टेप टू कॉन्फ़िगर एमपीएलएस निकास्ट स्टेप नंबर वन इन्हीं वाले आईपी एड्रेस कॉन्फ़िगर आईपी एड्रेस व्हाट हैपन Ah ha ha! Class can start a name. Nasty. So Ron can take a risk. Configure IP 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 address then. Configure Unicast routing protocol. Enable MPLS. Check the reachability. Then enable MPLS. On interface. What is the command? MPLS label protocol. Which protocol you are going to use? LDP. By default, LDP is enabled, right? MPLS LDP router ID and put the loopback number. And then you need to go in the interface zero slash zero MPLS IP. PC command, right? We have seen LSP. What is LSP? We have seen like a whatever the operation we have pop. Swap. We have seen the all operation right. Push, pop, swap, right. We have seen that. What is LSP? We have seen what happened if the LSP will break. Right. We have also seen what happened if I'm going to disable the no IP stuff. Okay, and uh, we have also seen how to configure router ID. Okay, and if you don't configure the router ID, same process will happen. First, it will go for the manually. Second, look back. Third, physical interface. Right? IP of router ID should be Najib. Unlike in OSPF, what happened? And EGRP. The router ID is not not should be reachable, right? In the EGRP and OSPF, you just configure the router ID. That's not a big deal, right? Either you can advertise in the EGRP or not. But in LDP protocol, what happened? Or because of the MPLS, your router ID must be reachable. If router ID is not reachable, I can't form the TCP handshake because your router ID will become the TCP connection, right? Not router ID or highest whatever the router LSR ID will be there. That will become a transport connection, transport ID, and that should be reachable. Take example. R1, right? Show IP interface brief. I have a IP configure over there. Show IP root EGRP. Let's take EGRP also there, right? I can ping. Done. No MPLS is there. Let's configure the MPLS. EGRP.
Okay. Then interface one slash zero. MPLS IP R3. Interface zero slash zero. MPLS IP. Interface one slash zero. MPLS IP. Done. R4. Interface zero slash zero. MPLS IP. Interface one slash zero. MPLS IP. R5. Done. R3. So MPLS neighbor. LDP neighbor. I have a neighborship with the 4404, right? That's a look back ID. Right? R3 is not able to form the neighborhood with R2. And if you check on R2, MPLS is enabled. So I've interface brief. On this particular interface, MPLS is enabled, right? And this guy is sending the hello packet. Can you see? Twenty three dot two, right? It's saying the LDP packet hello message discovery exchange with the UDP, right? I'm sending the hello packet, but I'm not able to form the neighborship. And if you see, both the router is going to extend the LDP, right? Twenty three or two and twenty three or two, three and two. R two is also sending the hello packet, a discovery, and R three is also sending the LDP discovery. UDP, but I'm not able to form the TCP connection. Yeah, exactly right. Because if you see what when R2, if you see the open this packet, what R2 is putting over there, transport address. Two dot two dot two dot two, right? Can I ping from R3 this two dot two dot two dot two? If you go on R3 and just ping from R3 2.2.2.2. Yeah, no. And if you see R3, this interface is enabled with the MPLS, right? So MPLS interface. Now this interface is enabled with the MPLS, but I'm not able to form the neighborship because I can I cannot ping the 2.2.2 because when R2 is sending this hello message, what R2 is putting over there? He's saying, hey, use this transport address 2.2.2.2 for a TCP connection. But can I ping from R3 2.2.2? No. This LSR ID, right? Should be reachable. And most of the time in your CSA exam, this will This kind of troubleshoot you will get in examinations. And not in a troubleshoot, like many times what happened when person is doing configuration, right? They made a, always, they may always make a mistake in examination. They are not configured, right? They forget to configure the interface into the any protocol like ITP, EHR, whatever the protocol is enabled over the EHR, POS, they forget to configure to look back. And because of that, reason, what happened? I'm not able to on the neighborship. We go back to the R2, so MPLS, LDP neighbor. Keyword on the discovery. What I can do, I just need to go on the router number two and I say the router EJP number one, network 2.0.0.0. What happened? 
LDP as came as a right. So MPLS LDP new. The first peer identifier. The first thing, the peer identifier. Then after that, we have a zero. Same thing, we have a local identifier. Then after that, we have a zero. I'm not coming to mind. Normally, what is the size of router ID? Right to bit. In LDP, six byte. The four byte x dot x dot x dot x next two byte is zero and kya hota zero dikhata hu wait a minute so total size of ldp id will be what for and 2.2 x dot x dot x dot x and then the total size is six byte, four byte, and two byte. But that on zero Q and can you just zero go and always you will find the you always now it is. It's a reason for something, right? Now, so this is my only information, my neighbor information, the peer LDP ID. I'm person on router number two right now. Okay. On the router number two, he's saying that, hey, this is my own information and this is my neighbor information. All clear? Yeah. Yeah, this is my uh, neighbor information, peer LDP. I'm person on router number two and this is my local. Then after that, what happened? My TCP connection is 3.3.3. .3 .3. That's my random port number and 2.2.2, 646 I'm going to use. Okay. How many masses I have sent and received? So I have sent this mass and received this mass, right? Downstream, just this two words, uh, leave it right now, this guy and this guy. Okay. Uptime is what? How many seconds this uh, neighborship has comes up? LDP discovery source. I'm forming the membership of home, 23 or three, right? And what information I'm checking right now? Neighbor information. So he's saying that my neighbor is this guy and that is reachable via which interface? My neighbor is this guy and that is reachable via which interface? This interface, right? Then after that, what we have a address bound to the peer. What informs I'm looking again? I'm person on router number two. I'm looking the neighbor information. This guy is saying that hey, how many interface that is connected with the R3? That is bound to the LDP identifier. That is connected to the LDP identifier. If you see. <clears throat> I just created the one loop back. And what happened? Previously, it was not there. Only three was there, right? How many information is bounded to the that particular R3? So now we have four informs, right? 30.0 as well as. So one, we have this one, one, we have this one, one, we have this one, one, we have this one. In a bounded, you will always find the IP, not the network ID. 
this clear now let's do one thing What this guy is saying that I have a neighborship, so I'm Phyllis, LDP, neighbor. I have a neighborship with the 4404. So RC must be have how many neighborship? Two neighborship, right? RC must have two neighborship. How many neighborship do I have? Only one. That is 4404 right now. I don't have a neighborship with the 2202, right? So MPLS, LDP. And if any of you seek so MPLS interface. My both interface has enabled with MPLS, right? Show MPLS LDP discovery. What are this guy saying there? Here the XMIT is going to represent that sending. Or we can say the transmit. No, you added the network 2.0 on that. I removed again. I removed oh, again. Removed again. Oh, okay, okay. So this is the one of the best troubleshoot command guys, based on that, you can easily identify. Do we have a utility or not? Let's go to Artu. Done. I got the new ship. Next thing. MPLS, LDP. Okay. R3. MPLS, LDP. Router ID. I want to change the router. Do IP interface brief. MPLS, LDP, router ID will be look back now. You know, can we give the fast Ethernet interfaces also? Physical interfaces can be assigned as a router ID? Yeah, of course. Of course, you can easily assign it. Also, you okay. can assign it. I can show you. Okay, okay. you know, I just options. wanted to know. Yeah. Okay. I put the command do show run section MPLS. He start not taking the loop back number for as a router ID. MPLS. All right, this is the clear. MPLS LDP. Neighbor. Reset the session. Now. Still three or three or three. It has to be this guy, right? Concern something up here. What I'm trying to say. Just drink my water.
बताओ सेकेंड पुट करना सो एम पी सैलरी पीने पर अच्छी राउट आई डी राइट शो रन सेक्शन एमपीएलएस सो एमपीएलएस एलटीपी नेवर अच्छे तरह आउट आईडी वाज लो बैक नंबर फोर राइट एंड इफ यू सी शो आईपी इंटरफेस ब्रीफ लो बैक फोर इज़ देर एंड दिस लो बैक फोर इज़ आल्सो एडवर्टाइज़ इन द एचआरपी MPLS LTP router ID look back number four. Force. Now what happened? Did I make any clear IP strict? Sorry, clear LD, uh, clear LTP neighbor strict? No. I didn't put right. Clear MPLS LTP neighbor. I didn't put this command. Clear MPLS LTP neighbor. Nothing happened. What I did? I need to set the router ID. Look back for IP address as a forcefully. I need to set the router ID. Look back number four as a IP address forcefully. So what happened now? Default ID will be removed, and now I'm going to change the router ID. So maybe you have a question, law. We also change it over there, right? MPLS LTP router ID loopback number four, and after that we did the clear, clear MPLS LTP neighbor, right? And it was again forming a new TCP connection, but still they are not taking as a loopback number four. So in that case, what happened? If you put the clear LTP connection over there, it will not, uh, it will never take the loopback number four as a router ID. You have to reload your device, and that will never feasible solution. To make an effect, you need to reload your device, and that will never make a feasible solution. You have to always use the force keyword. In your CCI exam, what happened? LDP ID. Maybe sometimes what happened in the router? Two loopbacks over there, right? Loopback zero and loopback number four, or maybe any loopback. Loopback fifty over there, right? And what they did, uh, Cisco? Cisco said the fifty dot fifty dot fifty as a loopback ID. Sorry, LSR ID. And in the documents, they will clear like written like this. Always the loopback zero number will be a LSR ID. So in that case, what happened? Take example. If you not change the router ID, as the MPLS LDP router ID loopback number zero. In that case, what happened? If you don't put the force keyword, LDP ID will be never change, right? So maybe you have an option to reload the device. So if you say so, Cisco exam, if you are going to reload your device, and to my kismat hui kharaab. If your luck is bad. I think my luck is bad. Yeah. I think I couldn't get MPLS to work. Yeah, <laughs> you could not. You you couldn't get this against CLI, right? Because sometimes the loading has a problem, right? So that's why make a force keyword over there. Use the force. If they are not mentioning, if they are mentioning that hey, you are not allowed to use the force keyword, then option single reload the devices. If they are not uh, mentioning over there, hey, you are not allowed to use the force keyword. Reload the devices. Clear. Done. The mark of the number was broken. Good knowledge here. Yes. Now they're not going to make you reload the device on the lab, are they? Yeah. You can reload it, but it's not never going to start. You know, reload it. But my GNS3 is not working. So if you know, let's take example. Look back number R4, right? Interface look back number two, right? IP address will be. My case is not both bad, na. Do they go? I said the MPLS LDP router ID loopback number two, right? Okay. Do show IP interface brief. Done. And I'm going to reload this device. Save this configuration first of all. Reload. Okay, reload. Sometimes I was I, trying this changing the labels yesterday when I was doing that. Take, uh, 
uh, uh, changing the label also you have to do the lead reload yeah that was not working whatever clear mpl i tried so many commands so basically yeah. only to only option to reload yes. yeah so my reload is mera my luck is not so good right so i'm reloading see the i'm stuck so guys make sure that this thing right whenever you're loading sometimes this will so this is a not a, this is just a issue with the gns3 not happen on the real devices okay this is the issue with the gns3 the, only with the this image right so i'll do one thing let me stop and start okay jani now we start my devices guys come here what happen if i'm going to interface 0/0 right this interface i said no mpls ip right done done and interface was last zero no mpls ip then i said the mpls ldp mpls label protocol what ldp then interface 0/0 slash zero, mpls ip interface 1/0 slash zero, mpls ip capture this link ldp sorry ttp which port number why we are not going to use the ttp clear between the ttp and ldp between the ttp and ldp do we have any innovation so mismatch of the protocol nothing will happen nothing will happen sometimes this kind of pre configuration is present and this is the reason why i'm telling you guys always check pre configuration before doing anything always a condition clear any questions so let me say uh, let me remove this guy as it on uh, no mpls sorry mpls ld label protocol ldp now then any questions so this command is just going to enable the mpls on the particular interface that is totally depend on the protocol either ldp or ttp by default by default ldp is there so if you just put this command what happen ldp will be enable right if you just put this command mpls ip what happen ldp will be enable by default what happen if you not in the protocol ttp and you just need to put the command ttp will be enable clear now all good subah so, pata hai main ek mandir gaya tha bhai to usme na ek ladka tha mujhe aisa nahi bolna chahiye but na ye banda tha wo bhagwan ki puja kar raha tha theek hai to wo no no gara nahi hote no gara उसकी पूजा करता देयर वर्शिपिंग द मैन ब्रो मुझे पता भी नाम नहीं पता क्या था उसका भगवान का पूजा कर रहा था मैं पता है ऐसे खड़ा होकर देखने लगा 
मैंने कहा मेरी नौकरा जिस दिन खतरनाक हुई ना गर्व मेरा पे आ जाए मैं उसको कभी पूजा नहीं करता गर्व को उसे प्रणाम कर मैं कल से पूजा करूंगा उनको एमपीएस Well, first I'll show you the according to the, your syllabus that whatever things is going in your syllabus. Okay. Then I'll come to you this part. Mm. Volume two, perfect. And be this. According to your book, according to your book, five forty one. To five ninety two, the time information. I'm telling you. Let's see what are the things they are giving. If anything, we are missing out there. Then I'll come to your my topic, right? Your topic that I'm going to cover. So the basic thing is clear how the ampulus is working and everything, right? Ampulus unicast and ampulus VPN is there. So two things we are going to done. Okay. Right now we are only focusing on the ampulus unicast. Okay. Yep. Look, ampulus including the frame based ampulus and the cell based ampulus was there, right? What we are learning, cell mode ampulus. I think so. It you it was used in the ATM. Because see, ATM, uh, the sale concept is coming in the ATM part, right? Or some kind of what is the full transport mode, something like this. Okay, that we are not using right now. Okay, so we are only going to discuss about the frame mode ampulus, and we are learning the frame mode ampulus. This line. right okay so ampulus unicard does not pro provide any significant advantage by itself what is the meaning of this line first of all kya matlab kya hua isme ampulus the meaning of this line is saying that the meaning of this line is saying that r2 r3 R5. All this router still maintain routing level, right? See, they are maintaining the level. That's a different thing because this guys is enabling the MPLS, right? They are maintaining the levels. They are maintaining the level. That's a different. This, this guy is running with the MPLS. But why should they maintain the routing level information? so i'm not getting the better significant right better advantage i'm not getting with the ampulus ampulus if they are following the packet based on the label right this guy is following the packet based on the label why should i maintain the ip information try to understand this word if this guys are maintaining the label information why should i maintain the ip information so ampulus unicast it does not provide any significant advantage right so in a market what happen anywhere right 
you always have to face either um, you always have to face the MPLS VPN, MPLS T, something like this. You never find the MPLS unicast. But the problem is that to understand the MPLS VPN, you must need to know the MPLS unicast. Like uh, to understand the DMVPN, you have to go through the GRD. Same like to understand the MPLS VPN, you must need to know the MPLS unicast. Oh, oh, but no, the other day when we did, uh, so basically if MPLS, uh, for instance, when we disable self for something of that sort, mm -hmm. uh, then basically if, uh, uh, what do you call, um, if MPLS is the only, this thing, then basically it, if it, there was no routing table, then the route will not get exchanged, right? Like you, you broke the MPLS. A route will exchange, route will exchange, uh, 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 Swami, but LDP will be not exchanged. So in that case, uh, it helps, right? At that point in time, when MPLS. Yeah, that case, that case in health. But what is the benefit of the uh, uh, MPLS then? Okay. See why we uh, why we are using the MPLS so that they will forward the packet based on the MPLS, right? So right, if they right. are forwarding the packet based on the MPLS, why do we need to have IP over there? So in case MPLS breaks in middle uh, or something mm -hmm. of that sort, no, then then this access. Then IP up. comes in the picture. But again, what happens? CPU will be high. CPU will be high, yeah. MPLS control panel protocol, right? LDP. That is going to use to learn the labels, correlate those labels to the particular destination, and make a forwarding table that's LFIP. Right? Three operations we have seen push, pop, and sharpening. Yes, give us. MPLS rely on the so complete MPLS works on the what? SEP. If SEP is working fine, MPLS is working fine. If SEP is not working fine, MPLS will be down. So like uh, the, from the routing table, I'm going to create the SEP table and from the SEP table, we have our additional table as well. So this is the late free information this is the late two information. Let me finish this book, okay. We already discussed this part, right? The how the label is porting. So you can see again, just have a look over there. So this is the one host over there, another host over there we have. So this is the customer edge router, right? This is the customer side. So this is the one company. Okay. And this is the one other company we have. So what they will do, they will just send the normal IP packet. Okay. Step number one, send the normal IP packet. The router will receive this normal IP packet. They will look up the SAP table, right? Okay. And they will send this IP packet to home, PE2. What PE2 is going to do? It will insert the label, right? It will receive this packet. What they will do, they will look up the L5 table. And it will swap the label. It's going to swap the label and then it will receive, it will pop the label, right? And send the normal IP packet to the customer. That's we have already seen, right? So the term of a label switch router is what refers to the any router that has a our niche of that's the meaning of label switch router. A router that perform the labeling that's known as a MPLS router. So we have seen the LSR router. What LSR means for any router that puts the label onto the packet, pop the label from the packets, or simply forward the label packet. That is known as LSR. As LSR means what LSR at the edge of the MPLS network, right? Meaning that this router pursues the both label packet or unlabeled packet. They will receive the IP packet and they pursue the label packet. And they will receive the label packet and they will pursue the IP packet. IP to label and label to IP. English LSR means what? So name says it's a very simple terms. Yeah, of a particular packet, the router that received the unlabeled packet and they insert the label. That's the English LSR. 
So normally I will receive the packet IP packet. So what happened? I will receive it. I will put the label over the 20. Egress means what? Remove the MPLS label. That's ATN that we are not using right now. Don't worry. FIB from the FIB, I'm going to make a L50 table, right? So FIB is used for what? It's for the incoming a label packet. That's a Ceph table, right? And L50 means what? Label packet. So if the label packet is coming to me, what I'm going to do? And if the unlabeled packet is coming to me, then The same thing they have did right they already we have done so we see they receive the normal ip packet what they will do they will pu uh, push the label right the outer label 22 they will send this in front of the p1 what they will do they will swap the label right from this gun and it will send this in front of this guy they will pop the label hmm? okay yes man MPLS setter, that's a 20 bit of the label that expands are three bits. Uh, bottom of the stack is a one bit. Okay, TTL is eight bit. Now this is the little bit important one. Okay. Have a look. Topic of the day. MPLS TTL propagation. MPLS TTL propagation. What is TTL first? What is TTL? Time to live. This is the full form of TTL. What is TTL? It's an eight bit field, right? That is used to prevent layer three loop and they will also determine how long this packet will be traveled. Detail start from zero miss Then, if any packet that is coming lesser than uh, one, discarded and discarded, right? Zero is discarded. Now, question is that check some on layer two, check some on layer three, and check some on layer. Every layer is doing the checksum in IPv4 perspective, right? In IPv4 perspective. If I'm talking about the IPv6, checksum on layer 2 and layer two. Sorry, layer 4. Right? They remove this from the layer 3. Concept is happening. Try to understand the concept. If you already have TTL on layer three, then why we why do we have introduced layer two point five?
Yeah, because in MPLS domain, router is not lookup TTL field. So we are not a VR. So MPLS router is completely avoiding layer three lookup. Why do we need to have layer three lookup for the IP? So for the IP, what happened? We have introduced a label, right? What are the TTL? So for the TTL, what happened? We did the layer two. That's it, right? Done. In a layer three, whatever the most important field we have. One is the IP lookup we have to do, right? One is the TTA lookup we have to do. So IP, we have changed with the layer 2.5 with the label, right? And same concept I put in the layer 2.5 TTL as well as. Another thing in the I, uh, uh, layer three, we have a QS field, right? We also put the experimental bit over there. So now tell me, do I need to perform the layer three lookup over there? I'm completely ignoring the layer three lookup by putting this header information in the MPLS. Uh, maybe the one question was sir, check some kaagya. Guys, we can do the check some on the layer two, point five, layer two as well as. क्या मैं पीसी को कंसीडर करता हूँ टीटीएल क्या पीसी वाह पूछना जाके पूछना जाके ऊपर आपको तो फिर इंग्लिश में जाके थोड़ा डन सो गाइस व्हाट हैपेन नॉर्मली ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड एक मिनट रो Capture is enabled, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Just have patience, this guy. And this guy. Just wait a minute, one minute, give, just give me one minute. I'll show you each and everything. I'm trying to ping. So right now, if you see, I have an MPLS. Let's check it one time. An R1 tree sort. Everything is good. Ping. Six or six or six or six, right? Then dip it one. Take it off him. Done. I see MP. I see MP. I see MP. I see MP. Done. Have a look. The first capture I'm going to show you from here, when R1 is sending the packet, right? The topic name is MPLS TTL propagation, right? MPLS TTL propagation. When this packet is coming with the R1, it will put the IP address to what, 12 or 1? Yeah. 
मर्सिडीज आ रही है मर्सिडीज लिखा हूँ मैं जब भी What is a uh, TTL is happening, right? What R two will do? R two will insert the label, right? So when this guy is sending the packet, if you capture this link R one and R this one, where R one R one R this guy. Do we have any M P S field over there? TTL 255. So I'll do one thing. I'll just capture this one and I'll paste it in the notepad, paint file, so that you can analyze the things. Okay. So this will be a capture from R1 to R2. Right. The packet is. IP packet. Detail is what? Done. When this packet will reach the R2, what R2 will do in this case? R2 will insert the label. Let's say what label I am going to insert? 19, right? Okay. So R2 signal. Let me insert the label. The packet is what? 12 or 1? Destination what? 6.6.6.6.6. After what happened? The type field will be what? Zero x eight one double zero. Sorry, zero x eight one eight eight four seven. Right? Eight eight four seven. I'm going to add the MPLS label. Right? Nineteen. And what I'm going to do? I'm going to insert the lib uh, TTL field over there. So once I'm going to receive it on this particular interface, what happened? I'm going to decrement the one detail. I'll put the two fifty R two and R three. MPLS header Ethernet tab eight eight four seven MPLS unicast for the MPLS multicast. What happened? Eight eight four eight. MPLS unicast 8847, MPLS multicast 8848. Multi protocol level switching. TTL field what? Done. IP is what? Done. Let's take a capture of this link. This is the capture of what? R two to R three. Which packet is this? Label packet, right? TTL. Two fifty four. Done. When this R2 will send this packet to the R3, what R3 will do? Which operation they will perform? Swap. Which label I am going to use? Twenty. So what R3 will do? R3 will create this packet, right? Source I will be what? Twelve or one? Distance I will be six dot six dot six dot six. TTL twenty. Sorry, MPLS or twenty TTL. Two fifty-three, right? Capture of R two and R R three and R four.
थ्री स्टिल वॉट देखे जा रही है इसको है ना इसको वो बोला मूवी दिखा That that just. Hmm? Have you seen this movie? Do you know the कोई मिल गया कोई मिल जाए यू वॉज दैट मूवी सोसम सी दिस इज कैप्चर ऑफ वॉट आर थ्री आर फोर राइट विच पैकेट लेबल पैकेट टीटीएल इज वॉट टीटीएल इज वॉट गुड जस्ट हैव पेशेंस ओके लेट मी हैव अ स्क्रीन शॉट देन आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस पार्ट नाउ आर फोर विल रिसीव दिस पैकेट वॉट आर फोर विल डू सेंड द पैकेट ऑफ द आर फाइव When R four will send this packet to the R five, source IP is what twelve dot one is still right. This is IP what six dot six dot six dot six. TTL will be what again nineteen. Me, you know, nineteen. Eh? Sorry, ah, label is nineteen. TTL will be what two. सर वो लेबल और 19 क्या है वो पॉप वाला लेबल है क्या वो वहां पे ये ये स्वैप वाला लेबल भाई इसने भी स्वैप किया पॉप तो अभी आर5 करेगा नो आर5 विल डू द पॉप तो फिर व्हाई इज इट द सेम लेबल सर 19 का 19 ही हुआ क्या वो स्वैप होके नहीं नहीं ऐसे कैसे हो गया देखो 19 यहां था फिर दे दे आल्सो सेंड द सेम लेबल फॉर द एड प्रीफिक्स दैट्स व्हाई ओके दे आल्सो सेंड द सेम वो ही सेम लेबल पर साइन हुआ ओके डुप्लीकेशन इज हैपनिंग राइट इट्स नॉट बिग डील डन पैकेट नंबर आर फाइव टू सॉरी आर फोर टू आर फाइव राइट Then after that, what happened? When R five will receive those two fifty two, right? Now R five will send this packet to whom? R six. In that case, what happened? Where do we go? R five. It's a MPLS packet, label packet, label packet, label packet, IP packet, IP packet, source IP. This is IP. Really Till this point, what is the TTL is happening for the IP TTL? IP TTL is two fifty four. IP TTL is two fifty four, and IP TTL is what? Two fifty four. Here, what is the TTL? Put IP or label. Put. Take your dad. I'm going to Harvard again. No, I'm going to tell you. In this case, what happened? R five. This is the agile SR router, right? This is the Azure SR router, and this is the Core LSR router, right? This is the Core LSR router. When R5 will receive this packet, what Azure SR is going to? They will copy this TTL. Which TTL? MPLS TTL. They will copy 
MPLS TTL into IP. So now the, this guy will TTL will be 250. One they will reduce. It reduce nahi karega. They will reduce the one TTL, right? 252 is there. What they will reduce the one. Okay. Which now? This is the default behavior, guys. One minute, eight minute, though. My explain to professors. This process is known as SR, copy MPLS TTL into IPTT. And because of this reason, because of this is what happened, the user will get the idea how far my user is sitting, my uh, end user is sitting from there, right? How far my end user is sitting over there? Because I need to know the, how many hops are there, right? To get how many hops are present between two devices. The, again, I'm telling you, this guy is so default behavior. This is totally a default behavior. I was assuming that R5 to R6 should be an IP packet, not a label packet, right? Oh, mm, my bad. Yes, 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 of course. Thanks, 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 buddy. We will see our watches. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, have a look in this diagram one time. Okay. When R1, I will explain when R4, R1 is sending this packet to the R2, this is sending the IP packet. This is the first packet we have. Okay. When R2 will send this packet to the R3, what they will do? Now, R2, in this case, what R2 is doing? Listen to me. R2 is receiving the packet, right? So, R2 will. Let me write on this. R2 will copy IP TTL into MPLS one. Right? Here I am doing R2 will copy IP TTL into the MPLS. And what here they, they are doing? Copy MPLS TTL into IP. So now when R2 will send this packet to the R3, so they will copy this detail after the decrement one. So what happened? 254, right? It's still IP detail is what? Right? Of course, they will decrement the one. What R3 is doing over there? R3 will create this packet, right? This is the second packet, third packet. What R3 is doing? R3 will reduce which detail? MPLS or IP? Yeah. Why they will reduce the MPLS detail? Because they are looking the which label? l not the f -fave. That's why I'm going to decrement the this TTL, not the this one, the IP one. And again, I mean, R4 will send this packet to the R5. Where I'm going to perform the lookup? l -fave. So which TTL I have to decrement? MPLS TTL, not the IP TTL, right? This is the fourth packet. But when R5 will send this in for the R5, R6, what happened? They will copy this MPLS TTL into IP because this guy is not enabled with the MPLS, right? So I will copy the MPLS TTL into the IP and send this packet to home. This guy, TTL will be one. Now I'm going to determine which TTL, IP TTL, not the MPLS TTL. This is known as the MPLS IP TTL propagation. And this is the default behavior. 
and you can see now just have a look on this one one, one time okay now let's have a look r1 to r2 ip packet right detail to 55 r2 to r3 and plus i'm going to include 254 254 right right now r3 is doing what label a propagation where i'm going to determine the detail to 53 not the ip not the ip right after that what happened label which detail i'm going to decrement not the ip i mean r5 will send this information to the r6 ip packet which detail i'm going to decrement of course ip and this is the default behavior Is there any problem is happening? Is there any problem in this concept? Is there any problem is happen in this? Let me move. This is the default behavior. I'll just give you the both the options to in front of you and then you will understand this feature. Okay, then you tell me. After that, you decide this is good outcome. Hmm. Thing is working, right? Right. How ready? What happened? Uh, no, without MPLS volume, you disabled MPLS on that interface, is it? No, I just disabled the MPLS title for probation. That's it. Which one is better? Second one. And if you see one thing, if you see one thing, one thing, one thing, one, one minute.
मोहन मैडम मैं एक बार और बहुत अच्छी कॉन्सेप्ट है आई जस्ट राइट ऑन द स्टार्ट विथ एम फिलस डिटेल विल बी टू फिफ्टी वन विद डॉट ओके रुको एक मिनट एक मिनट रुको By default, this command is enabled, right? At remote side, detail will be two fifty one, right? Two and alpha, right? Yes, yes, yes. This is the main difference happening. Benefit to what I'm getting over there. Security. I'm getting the security. The complete ISP is behave like a. Doesn't matter how many data supposing one thousand, two thousand, three thousand. So in that case, security case over there. Security both of the above case. What I am hiding over there? What I am hiding? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. The ISP network. So maybe you have a command. Now, what happens if I want to enable on every order? Hello, enable. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Hello, enable. Alpha video diya. R two is done. R three is done. R four is done. Ping. Maro. सेम आउटपुट नथिंग इज डिफरेंस बता तो क्या होता है आई विल टेल यू वन थिंग सो देयर इज सिस्टम अरे सुन ले मेरी बात तो उसके बाद बोल रहा व्हाट पर्सन इज थिंकिंग व्हाट पीपल आर थिंकिंग आई हैव टू इनेबल दिस कमांड ऑन एवरी ऑर्डर इट सीम लाइक यू स्टॉप कांसेप्ट राइट इन स्टॉप व्हाट हैपेंड आई टोल्ड यू दैट यू ओनली गोइंग टू कॉन्फिगर द टोटली स्टॉप ओनली ऑन द एबीआर ऑर्डर नॉट ऑन द ऑल ऑर्डर Because ABR router is generating the LSA. ABR router is generating the LSA three, right? So only we need to suppress over there. Same thing. Who is doing the TTL propagation right now? This guy, and this guy. Because if you see, who is doing the copy? The copy is done by whom person? Which person? R two, and copy uh, copy is done by which person? तो यहीं पे करो ना यहाँ पे करने की जरूरत ही नहीं है गाइस क्वेश्चंस देवेंद्र जयदीप राम श्रीकांत स्वामी आई एम डन फॉर टुडे क्वेश्चन नो थैंक यू हाँ या इस देर इस देर इन द लैब इस देर या इस देर इस देर चलिए गाइस ऑल एवरीवन So you can. I will save this pen file. 
okay and you can have a look as well i'll just send you in the whatsapp group okay Clear? no questions talent to bahut tum log mein koi doubt nahi hai samajh jata hai ek baar mehnat mehnat nahi lagti meri hello did you finish downloading the file no around just give me today today that's it one day i'll download it by today okay the the bgp question should i send to you in the whatsapp or yeah just send me in the whatsapp all right thanks okay okay buddy bye bye see you tomorrow acha ek minute ruk jao ek minute ruk jao ek minute ruk jao so ye concept to ho gaya hum log ka समथिंग इज पर्जिन द लेवल आई विल डिस्कस ओके डोंट वरी डिटेल हो गया अच्छे से ओके बॉटम में स्टैक देखेंगे क्यूएस भी देख लेंगे यार क्या जा रहा है पढ़ लेंगे वन मिनट एक मिनट है बस एलडीपी हमने अभी तक वी वी हैवन डिस्कस द जीरो वैल्यू राइट व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ एलएसआर आईडी जीरो एंड डॉन्स टीम एज वेल एज एलएसपी जूनियर एक्शन लाइट नो सर हम्म ओके दिलबर 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 khatam ho gaya one ambulance this bhi phir start ho gaya guys we'll see that from different book i have a different one as class well. okay we'll cover that one okay guys bye bye so lo it's going to be the same time right of course ye aaj sab time kyun puch rahe mere se batch ke mujhe samajh nahi aa raha abhi main ask the same time no basically because ron's clock is moved one hour ahead so why Well, that's daylight saving sir that's happened during the spring so there time ek minute ruk jao bhai sahab ye matlab day before yesterday what was the time on the round side it was midnight 12:30 now it's midnight 1:30 for him uh, so basically they save one one hour during this later part ek ghante bad gaye iske aise kaise matlab aisa matlab us mein aisa chalta hai kya government do ne mane a Today's day they will have only 23 hours. They will not have 24. Isaac, <laughs> Ron, Ron, is it something like this? You just have 23 hours for a day? Today, only, only today. today. Only today. <laughs> Ron, for how many days? Oh, this will be for six months, sir. Until October, November. That's when they switch back the clock uh -huh. again. ये 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 अच्छी बात नहीं होती ये अच्छी बात नहीं होती दिस इज नॉट अ गुड थिंग आई डोंट नो व्हेन इट्स गोना चेंज लेट मी सी व्हेन इट्स चेंजिंग बैक या ये दिस इज इन इन नवंबर आई थिंक या यार तो ये ये बट इन द स्प्रिंग इट चेंजेस करेक्ट या मतलब देखा जाए तो मतलब 180 दिन होते हैं ना 6 महीने में 6 मंथ 180 डेज सो एक घंटा निकाल दिया जाए तो 24 नो 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 नहीं सर आज टुडे इज वन डे विल बी 23 आवर्स नॉट एवरी डे ओह इट चेंज फॉर द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स आई डोंट इवन नो इट Yeah, yeah, it only changed in the United States. Thought it changed for you guys. <laughs> no, no, it didn't change for us. It changed only for you guys. Oh my God! I didn't know it. You know? Me, say what? I'm in India. I'm fine. Okay, this problem. So obviously, one hour, one hour come. So that's why Ron, we didn't come to know about it. But since I have some American clients, so I came to know about it. That's it. That's it. So, but timing? How do you do it? Boy, there. Like, just like one hour, two hours, two hours. How do you do it? अपने आप सर अपने लैपटॉप वगैरह में चेंजेस ऑटोमेटिकली कैलेंडर्स अपने आप सिंक हो जाते हैं सर एवरीथिंग चेंजेस ऑटोमेटिकली बिकॉज़ योर लैपटॉप्स आर स्मार्ट इनफ टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हिच टाइम जोन यू आर वर्किंग एनटीपी प्रोटोकॉल आई 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 आज तो मैं बंदे एक बंदे से बात करूंगा और तेरे 23 घंटे एक घंटे तेरे पर बात हो गया या सो बेसिकली इन द नाइट पीपल गेट टू स्लीप ऑन आवर लेस सर ये बात है दिस इज दिस इज नाइस इवन आई डोंट नो मुझे तो नहीं पता चला कि डॉलर भी चार पांच तरह के होते हैं 
मैं बोला कि मैं जा रहा हूँ बैंकॉक तो बोलते कि हांगकॉक या बैंकॉक वहां डॉलर चलती है तो लेकिन वहां का डॉलर सस्ता है मैंने कहा यार ओके गाइस बाय बाय सी यू टुमारो